guys, how are you going? Right, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to look at uh, modifying a Super Nintendo. Now this is a PAL version and what we're going to do is look at putting in our region switches and um, also our 1560 hertz switching. So uh, let's get into it. But actually before we do, one quick tip. Whenever you've been using your Super Nintendo, before you open it up, before you do any mods, give the power switch a quick flick on and you'll notice, this one's been already done, but you'll notice the power light will flash quickly because in these Super Nintendos, the um, components do actually still charge. Um, so if you've got to work on it, it's still practically live, so you might risk damaging something. So always make sure you give the power switch a quick flick on and then back off just to clear out any excess power that's in there. Okay, so we'll get it pulled apart. I've already taken the screws out of this one and you're going to need a game bit to pull it apart. Um, and you also need regular Phillips. So um, the game bits are all in the underneath of it. And stuff this off and out of the way. We need to take out our joystick ports. They just uh, unplug from the front here. Um, you'll need to unscrew power switch, you'll need to pull out the cartridge releaser and you'll need to undo a screw here, down here, here and here and that way you can lift the shielding out. And because we're going to be soldering to the bottom of the board, um, just use your Phillips screwdriver and just dart around and remove the screws just from the rest of it so we can lift our main board out. And where we're going to start is we're going to start by soldering into our voltage regulator. Okay, so looking at the bottom of our motherboard here, um, we've got our voltage regulator just around here, and I've just gone and prepared some uh, red and black wire because um, so we're going to be soldering onto the 5 volts and onto the ground. And um, they're nice and easily marked, so you see um, O here or zero, that's where our um, 5 volts is, and G is for ground, so that's where our black wire is going to go. So we'll do our usual trick, we'll just put a little bit of solder on here first, just to get it to loosen up. And same again on our ground. There we go, and oh, well, while we're here we might as well just quickly reflow the other one as well. Fantastic. So now what we're going to do is just add on our wires. So our red wire, which is our 5 volt feed, that goes to O. So we'll just solder that on. And now we'll just attach our ground wire. Right. Now that's the easy part done. Okay, now I've soldered on our red and black wire. Um, we can actually put our motherboard back into the uh, chassis because um, we're not going to be doing any more work under there. And you'll notice that I've actually already gone ahead and mounted my switches and I'd really recommend you do that. You'll see why as we go but it's actually just so much easier to work with them um, if they're already there, they're nice and solid. Um, and that way you can just attach your wires and add to them. Right, and always when you're when you're doing your wiring and things like that, just try and sort of consider where your cables are going to run, because you don't want them to get caught up in say the cartridge connector or anywhere where they might get crushed or cause any troubles. Um, so I'll just set this back in here. And our cables can just run around the back or somewhere here. But we'll just sit them out of the way just for the moment. Okay, now, next thing we need to do is start lifting some legs. And we're going to lift a leg off this chip, and this chip, and also our region protection chip as well. So we're going to lift a leg off each one. And I've got to warn you, if you are not confident at soldering, don't do this. The, 
legs, as you'll see in a second, are really, really tiny, and you're going to need to use a razor blade or a pin to lift them. So the but something where you really want a bit of confidence in what you're doing with these. Um, because yeah, they're, they're a little bit scary to lift up because you can't break them, you've got to be really careful with them. Okay, so we'll get into it. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is we're going to do our um, protection chip, our CLC chip. And um, it has U8 marked on the board. And as a bit of a point of reference, um, normally it lives a little bit, well, just under where the power switch lives. Um, on this chip, we need to lift pin four. Um, and um, as you can see, it's put mark there, pin one, pin nine, uh, 10 to 18. So we've just got to go in four. So pin one's there, so one, two, three, four. We need to lift that leg out there. And we're just going to use a little bit of um, solder braid um, just to try and Take a little bit of the solder out, and then while well, you probably use a uh, sharp knife just to try and lift that leg up. I'm just going to use the knife just to gently try and get up under it, and just to persuade it to shift. So we just got to gently heat it, and then get it to move. And as you can probably tell, the legs are so, so small, so you have to be very, very careful. Um, so all we need to do now is add a wire to that, um, but I'm actually going to come back and do that in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and get the other two legs lifted. Okay, now on to the hard ones. Um, the first chip we need to lift a leg from is uh, SPPU1. Um, now these are under the heat shielding and there's two of them next to each other. The next chip is SPPU2, but we'll start with the most difficult one first. So, on this chip, we need to lift pin number 24, and it's reasonably easy to find um, because it's actually marked um, number 30 down here. And so all we need to do is count backwards until we get to number 24. And if you want, use a ink pen or a marker because they're, they're quite hard to look at so when you do find number 24 put a little dot or a little mark there so you can find it and then um, yeah we'll get that lead lifted Okay, now onto one that's still hard but ever so slightly easier. And this one here on PPPU2, we need to lift um, pin number 30, um, which is quite easy to find because it's a leg on the very end. So what I'm going to do with this one is just dob a little bit of silver in it. Use some more of our uh, solder braid just to remove the silver. And just very carefully put the leg up.
don't put a lot of pressure on these. These, uh, these can snap off very, very easy. Okay, so that's all our legs lifted. Now we need to go and get our switches prepared and then we can attach our wiring and then we're done. So, not far to go.